Almost a year after the release of the original Moon Swatch collection from Swatch and Omega, the Swatch group decided to release a new model. Again, it won't be available online and if you didn't have a Swatch store nearby for the first release last year, you can be sure more people will be disappointed this time around because the new model is only available in the financial districts of Tokyo, Zurich, Milan and London. And if that wasn't enough, it will only be sold today, March 6th, and maybe during the next full moon. You all know how it went last year, and well, who would have guessed? The exact same thing, wow. This is the line in Zurich, Switzerland. People started waiting more than 12 hours before sales started. Okay, but what does the watch look like? It must be a crazy new design, right? I mean, it doesn't look bad, but it's just the already existing mission to the moon watch, which they've put a gold plate a second's hand on, packed in a fancy box with golden accents. And for some reason, they really emphasized that it was made during the full moon night in February this year, so much so that you even get a goofy certificate with it. Of course, they have already ended up on sites like eBay for outrageous prices. The retail price is 275 Swiss francs, which corresponds to about 290 US dollars. But of course, it sells online for much more. So yeah, Swatch really decided to just remake the whole event from last year, but even crazier, even more limited, and somehow it just works for them. Because people that have never cared about watches see a long line and hop in because they don't want to be left out. Is this copium from my part? I wouldn't say so. I bought the mission to Jupiter moon swatch last year, but was very disappointed with how cheap it felt, especially because I already had a cheaper full stainless steel swatch chronograph. And I think you can say objectively, they could have done so much more with this release. At least a gold yellowish case. It doesn't have to be real gold. It just has to be something new that we haven't seen already. But then again, more than enough people want to buy one. so. Why not choose the easy way if the profit and the outcome is the same? Even though many of us will be dissatisfied with this release, it will again be a success for the Swatch group. And nobody's forcing me to buy a Moon Swatch, so that's why I recently bought a Tissot PRX, also giving the Swatch group my money. So to summarize, new Moon Swatch, I won't buy it, you most likely can't buy it, but do you know what you can do? You can subscribe to this channel to stay updated on the situation and watch videos about other watches which I think are more worth your money and time.